Hey guys, we're down here on the small holding and uh, today I'm going to start putting a polytunnel. It's uh, six meters long and it's five meters wide and uh, there's a lot of it, boxes and boxes and packages and packages, but it's got to be done. We are definitely want to get our vegetable garden up and running. So polytunnel is a must for anyone who wants to do that. Check out the video and uh, don't forget, give me the old subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, enjoy the view. They don't go there. really important part once you've got all your doors and sides all locked in place you go inside and push the buttons down and that tightens up the skin so keep watching i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna tighten up this side see what it looks like Pretty drummy. Difficult to do, especially with a one man crew. Well, I hope it's helping you out along the way. Now, to get the doors on. I think this is one of the top three hardest parts about fitting a polytunnel it's pulling it drum tight. Now, it doesn't matter which instructional videos you do watch, it is hard, uh, it's not easy to do. I've put a couple of polytunnels up over the years, so I've got a good understanding of it. Uh, it requires a lot of pulling, a lot of tugging, a lot of huffing, and a lot of puffing. Uh, so yeah, so I'm doing this side, and I've got double doors as you can see. So, um, I've got to get some laughs first put pre put some nails in them and then a lot of huffing and a lot of puffing as i said so uh stay tuned right guys here we go it's not straightforward so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna loosely pin on this side piece of door frame then once i've got that on i'm gonna pull the bottoms and i'm gonna put another section on so Wish me luck. I'll throw this side section. I've already put a couple of nouns in it. Put four in. Probably one more than that, to be fair. But I'm gonna put four in to start me off. And as I put the nouns in, I'm not gonna put them in all the way. Just in case I need to set the back on. Start from the corner, right over this side. And what I want to do is, I want to pull this section this way, so over the side here, plastic sags. So as I pull it, it takes out the sag. So I need to kind of pleat the plastic as evenly as I can, and uh, you don't get no awards for perfection on your pleating, so yeah, no medal's going to get one. I just want to get some even pleats. I've got one, two, three, four, five pleats, and I want them to fold. Oh, 
going to fold the piece of wood over and my pleats will start to face inside. Two, three, four, five. There we go. So and I'm still holding it in place, haven't now it's I'm gonna chug these, put a bit of pressure on the lap. Right, so this end one isn't moving, so I'm gonna nail that one in. finish around the door. So that's that one side done. Now I'm going to do the other side and then I'll cut out around the door. There we go guys, one more project in the bag. Now I did get a bigger poly tunnel than I've had before and I went all out, got loads of extras, uh, like double sliding doors, uh, ventilation on the side, I've got extra wide, so it's like six meters long and it's just under five meters wide. And um, speaking with a neighbor and he suggested putting a little pond in there to bring in the amphibians to eat all the uh, all the little nasties. So I started it, but that'll be another video anyway. So uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget, give me the old thumbs up and the subscribe. It all helps. Cheers, guys.